Okay, now we're recording. Woo! I didn't forget till the end. Let's go back to our slides and let's dive right into these tips, you guys. Okay, so take your selfie, tag me if you wanna be in for the giveaway. So we're gonna talk really quickly about getting healthy sustainably and sustainably and healthily, okay? Because I know that sometimes it can feel like an all or nothing. I know that you're start, maybe you're starting on your journey of working out. Maybe you're starting to be more mindful about your water intake or your nutrition. And sometimes, you know, I've been in this industry a long time, people come into making changes with really an all or nothing mentality. And when they have that second day of falling off, then everything kind of goes from there, right? Have you ever done really good Monday through Wednesday? And then you have like Thursday night pizza and you think everything is falling apart. We don't want to create that type of environment. So what we want to create in, you know, groups that we, we run and accountability that we bring is sustainable, happy health and fitness results. So I have five quick tips I want to share with you. Okay. Number one is follow a plan. You guys, I am a huge proponent of following a plan because if you just kind of wing your health and fitness, it's not going to be the kind of results that you probably are looking for. Like there's a reason we need to move our heart rate and have cardio and to have strength training and to have flexibility and to have rest days. Rest days are hugely important. So if you're not following a plan, I know for me, I use Beach Body On Demand. I pick a program. I have a program calendar. I know what I'm doing. I know when I wake up what my workout is because when it's less likely to chance, you're more likely to stay consistent. Okay. So whatever you're doing, maybe you're doing a couch to 5k, maybe you're following um, a gym that you have a regular schedule that you go to, following a plan is crucial. And number two is have a system of support. So if you are not currently surrounding yourself with someone else or a group of people that have similar goals, it's going to be a lot harder to stay committed on the days that you just don't feel like it. And don't get me started on motivation because I don't really believe in motivation. I believe in discipline over time creates anything that you want right? So like I work out and eat primarily healthy because it is a lifestyle that was built on discipline. I don't feel like doing it most of the time, but I love how it makes me feel. But when I surround myself with a group of people like you who are also doing hard things that are better for my health, I feel more inspired to do things like that, that will help keep me healthy as well. So please, 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 wherever you are right now, if this was your first time working with people with similar goals, create an environment that you have a system of support, whether it's someone physically in your home or online, support is so huge to continue this journey. Progress, not perfection. Oh, I don't, I'm not sure who's doing that. I literally don't know how someone's showing that, but that's cool. Okay. Progress, not perfection mentality. You really need to understand that things are never going to be perfect. You need to also just accept the fact that you're human and we're not going to eat clean hundred percent of the time or work out seven days a week. It's like, it's probably just not going to happen. Right. But what we focus on is progress because progress is sustainable. Progress is repeatable. I have had so many times when I've fallen off healthy eating, or I have missed my workout, but I come back to it because I'm focused on progress, not perfection. So that to me really rings true. When I read this book one time that asked what's the most important day of working out or being on a health journey? You know, it's not the day that we do everything perfectly. It's the day after we fall off. It's the day after that missed workout. It's the day after that extra dessert or drink or pizza or whatever it is the night before, because it's the day after that you decide yesterday wasn't perfect and I'm still here. So you guys progress over perfection. And I want to just make sure I hammer that home because I've seen so many people go in to start something with an all or nothing mentality and then life happens and they can't stick with it. And then they have completely fallen off. Well, to quote Jillian Michaels, if you have one flat tire, do you slash the other three? No, you keep going because three full tires are better than no full tires. So keep going on your progress and perfection. Does that resonate with anyone? I really love when the chat blows up. I forgot to tell you that. So please blow up the chat. Let me know if you feel that. Have you honestly resonated with anything that we've said? Because I know for me, I was an all or nothing person, 100%. And it took me so long of quitting and starting and quitting and starting to realize that I was never going to have it perfectly. So why don't I just keep going? Why don't I just do it messy? Literally do it messy. Keep going because doing something is better than doing nothing at all. And then lastly, you guys celebrate non-scale victories. This is huge. Some of you don't need to lose weight. Some of you might want to lose, lose weight. Some of you might want to build muscle, you know, increase your healthy eating, whatever it is. But you have to find celebrating those tiny wins along the way, especially the ones that aren't related to the scale. Do I think the scale is bad? Of course not. If you have a healthy relationship with it, awesome. But so many times we define ourselves by those numbers on the scale and we forget 
about the other wins along the way. We forget that we have more energy. We forget that we slept amazing last night. We forget that we used to not exercise at all and suddenly we're doing something. We forget that we used to drink seven sodas a day and now we're cutting back and we're drinking more water. We forget because sometimes we're so focused on the number on the scale that we don't remember what's going on behind the scenes because all those little things turn into be lifestyle changes. will turn into eventual weight loss, weight gain, whatever your goals are. Okay. But I can, again, amen for non-scale victories. I would love to hear one of your non-scale victories in the chat. What have you guys experienced? Maybe just in the last four days, what was it about water and workouts that helped you celebrate a non-scale victory? Okay. Hope everyone can hear me because it just said my internet is unstable. Let me just X out of this. And I want to introduce my good friend. I want to introduce Brandy, who is, can you guys hear me? It said my internet was unstable. Are we still good? Okay. Brandy joined me several years ago. Brandy has had an amazing health and fitness transformation. She is a mom of four. She works super hard. She, her schedule, I mean, don't even begin to talk about crazy schedules because this girl is going a hundred different directions. But she came to me in February of 2019, I think it was, ready to make a change. So we run what we call monthly boot camps. They're more involved than the, the week that we've been doing right now, but she's had such an amazing shift over time. And I asked her to share for just a few moments tonight about how she found sustainability in her health journey and how things are different than they were just a few years ago. So Brandy, I see you. I think I've asked you that you can unmute yourself and we would love to hear from you. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Thanks for having me share a little bit. So yeah, when I started, I watched Ashley for a while, um, probably like two years. I don't know. She invited me to a similar group like water and workouts. I think we did like a nutrition group. It was a free group. Um, and we were going through a really hard time in our lives at that point. We had loss. Um, I was battling postpartum depression. My husband is like a disabled veteran. He works insane hours. And I was home with these four babies. And I kind of just lost myself like in all that. And I remember telling my husband just literally reminded me of this earlier. He said, do you remember when you told me that like the only consistent thing that you could do every single day was like go into that fit club, which our challenge group, um, we call it a fit club. But anyways, he said, you said that every day, like that's something you look forward to. Like it wasn't even like the workouts were just a plus, just having that place to plug into was like my thing. It was my time. It was something that I did for myself. And he will tell you, my mom will tell you, like, I'm such a changed person from 2019, just from the community and being around all of the like-minded people that were doing the same things. And, you know, it wasn't perfect. Like there were so many days that I was like, oh, I don't want to do it. But it kept me in a great mind space. And like, honestly, this journey, like being able to have this community and this place to belong and a team and the workouts and all the things, it just built me up inside. And like, it was, it was a huge, my mind is the biggest thing that's changed. My husband tells me that all the time. Like, you're not even the same person you were in 2019. I don't even want to think about that, like where I would be. But thankfully I did say yes to Ashley. I talked to her after years of like, no, I'm just going to try. I'll do this. And it has, it's changed my life tenfold. Like I'm not even the same. I don't even know how to explain that. It's just changed me. And I do love, I mean, I've seen, you know, my goal when I came into this was just to lose a fast 20 pounds. I didn't know this was going to be like a lifelong thing. Like it was in my mind, I was like, I'm going in, I'm going to lose the 20 pounds. And then there was this whole other, like, <laughs> there's a community, there's people, there's workouts, there's nutrition, there's all these things that I didn't even know about. I mean, I didn't even own a pair of tennis shoes when I started. That's the truth, like at all. I had to literally go buy tennis shoes because I'm like the least athletic person. I'd never even been in a gym. I still haven't, but this, like, I'm telling you, it just changed me in so many ways. And especially mentally, like I did end up losing the 20 pounds and I was able to, with four kids and an insane schedule with my husband, I was able to, to create healthy, small changes that we just implemented in every single day. And, um, those little changes just added up over time and helped me even now, like with still running with four babies and every, all the things like it's just been sustainable to have small things that added up. And so that's just a little bit of my story and how I got started. I 
I love that. And I think the biggest takeaway that I heard you say is it was the little things over time. You know, you didn't wake up one day and like change a thousand things because that would not have been something that you could sustain. You're a busy mom. You have a crazy, insane schedule. And when you came to me wanting help, you just wanted something that could become a part of your lifestyle. So it's not just, you know, one workout. It's not just one healthier meal. And it's a lot of back and forth. Like we have, we have ups and downs in our journey. But what I love about you, Brandy, is you're always coming back to it. It doesn't matter if you fell off for a day, a couple of days, like you're back on your journey because you know how it feels to take care of yourself. And I'm just so proud of you for all that you've done. So thank you so much, Brandy. I want to keep this call moving along. I have one more guest speaker for you. My good friend, Amanda Carson, she has joined me. Oh my gosh. I think we started working on your goals together four years ago. This is so crazy. Um, She's so positive. She's so full of energy. She has just become such, you know, a powerhouse. Like she is really leaned in to making these changes of health and wellness and leaning into accountability that we have. She's a mom of two. She has a full-time job. Like again, who, do, who has a lot of free time? Like, I don't, I don't think anyone would put their hands up. No one has free time. So Amanda has a super busy schedule too, and decided that she wanted to create a health and fitness lifestyle. So Amanda, I wanted you just to share for a few minutes about your journey and what changes you've noticed in these last few years. Hey, you might get a cat photo bomb at some point. She's been like meowing and waltzing around. So we'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, I basically, I think it's about two years I watched Ashley and basically was like not buying it um I think I probably ignored her for two years too um before I started um I had my first daughter Leah at 21 um she was my surprise gift and at that time the only thing that I was really doing to stay active um was well it, I mean it was a lot but it was like our dance team and cheerleading and I, I never really resonated with the gym or anything. I just, I thought my dad was crazy for running. Um, it just wasn't like a connection in my life. So after I had her, I basically kind of was getting used to this like new version of myself. Um, and I really then started feeling like, well, you know, like my body's ruined, which is a terrible mindset. Um, and I love how we do that, but, uh, and so basically only saw working out as like, and any healthy lifestyle as a way to like, you know, look good. And I'm like, well, my body's not coming back. And I just kind of fell into this like mindset of just not caring or like viewing it as being healthy. So for seven years, I literally, I didn't have dancing anymore. I didn't have cheerleading. I stopped doing like all forms of physical activity. Um, and I felt like that energy drain. Um, and then I had my second daughter seven years later. And after Molly came along, I just felt like a blob, like the more than mom tired. Um, I was in a bad relationship. I was getting ready to go back for maternity leave. And Ashley reached out like right before I was about to go back. And I said, yes, because um, not because I bought into it. And I think I went back and looked, I said skeptical, like in my first post, like in this group, like so many times. <laughs> um, but I was like, this has to be better and how I feel right now. And I felt from going on walks that I was starting to feel a little bit better. So I'm like, all right, maybe I'll give it a try. Um, day one of this challenge group was my first day back from maternity leave. And I got home that night, it was like super late, but I saw all of these women checking in and I didn't feel alone. And they were doing it at all different times. And I was like, I can't be the only one. Like I'm pretty competitive. I'm like, I can't be the only one to not do this. So it took me um, like I turned on like a 30 minute cardio program, which was like very moderate and very appropriate for starting out. And it took me like an hour and a half. I threw up not because it was like anything crazy. That's just how bad I like out of shape I was. Um, and it was like horrible. And, but after it, I felt like amazing. I felt like this high and I started feeling that energy that like I used to have. Um, and then like, before I knew it, I was like going along and I was starting to drink this shake too, that it tasted like a milkshake. And I started kind of giving up some of my habits like dessert, although I did eat like Oreos right before this, cause I was a little nervous. Um, but, <laughs> but it was, it started realizing it didn't have to be all or nothing and like swapping out different things. Um, and I just, before I knew it, it like kind of just became this habit. And then I realized along the way, like I made friends I didn't even know I needed, um, I've seen like women have babies. I've seen them do all these amazing things. And then you just like feel like you know them and you've like known them your whole life. And I say like, I still need these groups. Like I just, 
they're amazing. And when I say like, if you think you can't do it, you absolutely can because I was the epitome of not. So. Okay. I love that. I was waiting for a cat photo bomb. I know I was waiting for her. I tagged you in her um, yelling while you were talking earlier. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll be on the lookout. I'm still looking at your square, but Amanda, thank you so much. I think, well, first off, who doesn't love Oreos and it's great that you eat them when you're nervous. Maybe I should try that. Um, but I love that because it's just life. You guys, it doesn't mean when we get on a healthy journey that we have to never have things that we enjoy, right? I enjoy candy. I love peanut butter M&Ms. Like give me them right now. But I've just learned more that my body feels better when I fuel it with better foods. My body feels better when I move it and treat it well. So that the other times when it's maybe not the healthiest thing, it doesn't outweigh all the hard work that I do most of the time, right? I think the biggest thing is it's not about what we do some of the time. It's about what we do most of the time. So if you're taking care of yourself most of the time, no one's got time to do it perfectly. It's okay. But what we want to help you do is increase that most of the time. So if you guys are cool to hang with me for like five more minutes, you may already be someone who knows all about the groups that we run, the more involved, we call them VIP groups or fit clubs, whatever you call them. What it basically means is that's our private community. You guys, this week, water and workouts is coming to an end tomorrow. And if you're not currently in our accountability community, our groups that are actually off of social media, they're on a private app. So there is no distraction on social media. I love it. Everything there is very trackable. I would love to take just a couple minutes and share with you that we have this amazing deal going on this month to join us and get started with us. And it's not because we just think we want to like sell you something. Can we just the elephant in the room, right? Like we truly, I hope you can hear from Brandy, Amanda, and myself. I have been on my journey with Beachbody and everything that they offer since 2012. I'm not going anywhere. I've gotten into the best shape of my life. I have had two children. My son is four months old almost. And I just come back to this community because it's sustainable for me. It makes me so happy to be able to check into my group, to do something for myself. And also to see the emerging people on my team and, and my, my clients become a part of my world. So I just wanted to share our amazing deal that if you do want to take us up on it, that's awesome. If not, we appreciate the heck out of you being in our water and workouts group. But I just think in light of all the other things that have come up in the fitness industry, it blows my mind all that we can get for what we have to offer with the sale going on this month. So I made a little tiny slideshow, so I didn't forget, but I wanted to share with you guys really quickly and then we are done. But right now there is a special. If you want to continue with us and move into our VIP group, you get a one year membership to 1400 plus workouts on Beachbody On Demand, streamable from home, from your tablet, from your TV. And you guys, there was a huge announcement. I'm not going to share it right now, but something's coming down the pike in a couple months that is going to blow your mind on this platform. Okay. Um, tons of workouts, thousands of workouts. You will be able to choose and you will have access to all those workouts for a year. Back in the day before workouts were streaming, I used to buy DVDs and one DVD could cost me as much as $90. Now, now you're getting everything on Beachbody On Demand for one entire year. You get two digital nutrition programs. So I don't know about you, but nutrition has always been my bigger struggle. And having access to our nutrition center library, it's all within a cute little app. You get to choose one of two nutrition programs based on what you need. Do you need more portion controlled eating or do you need a more flexible mindset based approach? Those nutrition programs sell for $100 each a $200 value. You get a set of portion containers. Should you go with a system that is more portioned? You get a set of containers. You can measure your food. If you don't go with that plan, cool. You still get to enjoy these cute colored containers and a food tracking journal that I have loved. It would actually, I finally like finished up all my journals. So I had to move to tracking digitally, which is fine, but I loved writing down my food. I loved writing down something I was grateful for. I loved all the things that that journal has helped me to really become mindful of. $20 value for the journal, $15 value for the containers, one month of my favorite superfood smoothies at $130 value. You guys, this is not a protein shake. I researched Shakeology for two months before I actually bought my first bag. I was spending $65 a month just on vitamins. And when I compared what was in Shakeology, that was my meal as opposed to my multivitamins, it blew my mind. 
Shakeology has not only helped me regulate my cravings, lose my weight and keep it off after two babies. It's also helped my husband who struggles with IBS and struggled his whole life with IBS and gut issues. When he started drinking Shakeology and drinking it regularly, he drinks it every single day now, his flare-ups have lessened. And we cannot guarantee any miraculous healing. This is not a magic pill, but it's whole food, plant-based nutrition. So when you're fueling your body with that amount of nutrition and making that a literally no brainer meal, you're not as tempted to get the processed junky stuff. You're not as tempted to stop at the drive-through because your body has actually been fueling itself with things and superfoods. Like I geek out a little bit over nutrition and learning about all the stuff that my body gets every day has been a game changer. Helps with regularity. Y'all know what I mean. We'd love to talk about that and is a natural energy booster. So that in and of itself is all like broken down for the value that you can see right there. The sale this month is $140 for everything. I mean, to me, when I break that down at $11 and 66 cents a month, I'm getting a workout library. I'm getting nutrition programs. I'm getting my first month supply of my shakes. I'm getting my food tracking journal. $11 and 66 cents a month is about the cost of two specialty Starbucks drinks. To me, that was worth giving up to be able to lean into this community and see what it could do. And then the last part of it is the bonus. So you get access into our monthly wellness groups in a private app. You get access to your personal coach, whether that's me or whoever invited you to water and workouts. We have been there and we will be on the journey with you. We will help recommend the best program to start with. We will be there to help you with the missing link, which is what? Accountability. Accountability, the more that we show up and lean in, the more that we're accountable. And like Amanda said, she's like, I'm a little competitive and I didn't want to see all those people working out and me not do that. So let's channel that competitiveness, whether you are or you aren't, but let's channel that into healthy, positive things that you can do for yourself. Personal access to your coach, ongoing community. You guys, when someone works with me, regardless of what happens, they always have access to my groups for the next year. For the rest of the entire year, you have an open door to join our accountability groups. I know for me personally, we make them fun. We run ours for 21 days in length. We have special themes. We have small team competitions. We have fun emojis. Like we make it fun because fun people stick around. And if you're leaning in and having fun, you're also probably doing the activities that are going to help you feel better about yourself. And it's a risk-free 30 day trial. Like maybe you're a little like, I don't know, could this really work for me? Okay. It's totally fine. If you lean in and try this, you have 30 days to decide if it is or isn't for you, which honestly, I think this is for everyone who doesn't want community and like healthy habits. But if it's not for you, it's okay. We don't want to just have you sign up for something. We want to have you lean into something. So if it's not going to work out for you, it's not a big deal. You have that 30 day risk-free guarantee. And finally, we're going to give away some prizes. So if you are ready and I just want to, before we give away prizes, I just want to thank you for your time. I think we did pretty good at sticking to 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Um, and I just want to announce our winners. Okay. But one thing I want you guys to do though, is if you are able to message the person, hang on, I can't do two things at once. If you're able to message the person who invited you to this group and just give them some feedback. If you're like, heck yes, I want to go for it. Great. If you're like, not right now, totally fine. Okay. But I just want you guys to thank whoever invited you on tonight because they saw something in you enough to reach out and just say, Hey, thank you for being here. Loved water and workouts. If you want to join us, great. Okay. Will you do that for me? Will you just thank them for inviting you to water and workouts? Are you guys ready? Okay. I have to check and see my Instagram and you know what, if you are watching the recording, I'll leave it on. Sure. Let's leave it on for the recording so we can announce our winners. Um, any questions before we do that? Okay. So the first winner is, so there's two winners. And you guys get to decide Amazon gift card or Starbucks gift card. Okay. You have to message me on Instagram because you already did it because you tagged me and I will get you your prize. Are you ready? Who's doing a drum roll? Crystal is. Okay. Marie Schultz. Marie, are you on here? I think you got to make sure you're on here. Put your drop a chat if you're still on. Okay. Drop in the chat. Are you still on? 10 seconds, Marie, 10 seconds. Marie Schultz, last call. Oh, you're on, wait, is that, no, wait, I'm looking for Marie. No, okay, all right, I'm gonna end the recording here, you guys. Um, hang on, everyone stick around, I'm just ending the recording. <laughs>